Hey guys, I am back with another video. This is a black kind of gothic halter top. Um, I'm using a 2.75 millimeter hook and weight for acrylic yarn. First, you need to get started by making the cups. Um, I already made the first one. Pretty easy to do. And I do have a few other videos that do show how to make cups. So if you want to skip ahead of this, then feel free. Um, so all you do is take your yarn, just make your knot. And I'm doing a, a talk over instead of a voiceover because a lot of people will say that I do kind of speed through my tutorials and it's a little confusing. So um, I do live in a big city, so if there's any street noise, I apologize. <laughs> So all you're going to do first is you're going to chain out a total of 14. This will cover you for um, a size small to medium. Uh, if you need a large or anything larger than a large, then I would probably recommend to maybe add 5 to 10 more stitches in this first um, because the first part of the bikini, this is the 14 that we're making right now. If you can see that, sorry, black is like the worst color. But so I'm gonna do um, this row right now. And so yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So once you have the 14, then you're just going to block off the end with your finger. Chain an additional three to get started on your first row. So one, two, three. So then you're going to prepare for a double crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook. And then right where you blocked off with your finger, you are going to place your needle through, pull through yarn. So you're going to have three left on your hook, pull through two, and then pull through two. That's a double crochet. So then I'm just going to go back along the row and place a double crochet in every chain. So when I do double crochets, I do like to kind of pull on it when you first pull your thread through. It just makes it easier to do your double crochet so it's not so tight. I just put lotion on my hands, which was so stupid because the yarn is like sticking to my fingers. But anyway, so I'm just going to go back through each stitch and I guess I'll just pause here and then come back when I'm finished. Okay, so as you can see, I finished the row. So now we're going to start turning the work around. So this is, I'll see if you can see it. This is where we're going to start to turn our work around and then start chaining down the opposite side. So all you do, prepare for a double crochet, and then go right back into the same last, or the first loop that you made, and you're going to be placing two double crochets. Then once you have two, you're going to chain two, and then place two more double crochets. Okay, so now once you have that, then you're just going to go back along the other side. So, I mean, the stitches are a little bit trickier to see, but it's just the very first stitch on the top row. 
and I will pause and then come back once I have finished this row. And I just want to show you, this is where it gets easy to skip stitches. So just make sure that if you pull on the last stitch, so you can kind of see here, it's hard to see with the black, I'm so sorry, but um, this is the actual last stitch of the row right here. So just make sure that you are not missing the last stitch. So yeah, so this is what you should have so far. So now all you do is chain three, flip it over, and then continue back along this side. So once you reach um, the top, so you know how you did the chain two, you go along the two double crochets that you did and then stop there. I'm gonna pause until I reach this second double crochet that you placed in the row beneath it. Oh, and I also wanted to show you that this first chain isn't the first chain that you stitched through because it's connected to the chain three. So just keep that in mind. Your first stitch will always be, it looks like the second one, but it's really the first one. So you're not stitching through this stitch that's connected to your chain three, you're stitching through this one to start the row. And then you place your double crochet. So yeah, just go along until you reach the end. I stitched up into the two uh, double crochets we placed in the first half of the um, center loop beneath it. And so now I'm at the chain two. So I'm just gonna go straight through this entire loop right here. And I'm gonna be placing two double crochets then chain two, and then two more double crochets. And then this is where you prepare for your double crochet. So this is where you prepare for the double crochet, and then you jump right back into the tops of the chains beneath it. I'm just gonna go back along the row, make sure that you don't skip any chains at the very end, um, and then you chain three and you just keep going around and around until you get the size that you need. Um, let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So I'm doing six rows. This will fit a medium to small. Um, but of course, just measure it against yourself um, to get the size that you need. So now you should have you should have both of your um, cups completed. Um, so I did six rows again for my size, which would be a small to medium. Um, so now all I'm gonna do is I did cut it which you could just continue the same row down to what I'm about to do, but it's okay if you cut it as well, doesn't matter. I'm just going to reattach it to the very corner. And then now I'm going to just tie it and we're gonna attach it to the other side. Okay, so now once you have your thread attached or if you are just continuing the same thread from your cup, either way, you are going to chain out a total of three to three. So once you have three, then you're going to grab your other side. So you can see I'm taking the bottom right corner. So this is going to be the inner side of your halter top. So you just take the other side 
and I'm going to be attaching this to the very corner piece. And you just attach it with a slip stitch. So you should have it like that. So then now I'm just going to be chaining an additional three. And then now you're going to be taking the right side and you're going to be counting to the third chain up from where you attached it. So one, two, three. And then again, I am attaching that with a slip stitch. So you should have that. All I'm going to do is chain one. I'm gonna try and show this in like the best way. Prepare for a double crochet and go into the very first um, chain closest to the right cup. And then you're gonna place a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one at the top of that prepare for a double crochet and go right back in the same loop. Okay, once you have that chain one, and then you're going to count three on the opposite side of the cup from the bottom. So you're gonna count one, two, three, and you're going to connect that with a slip stitch until you have this. So you're, this is going to get started on the inner design between the two cups. Once you have that first little row for the inside uh, design, then you're going to chain three and then you're going to count to the third chain from where your chain is coming out of. So one, two, three. Attach it with a slip stitch. Then you're going to flip over your work, chain two one, two, prepare for a double crochet, and then you know the tiny little triangle that you made beneath it. You're going to ignore this space and go into the tiny triangle, just straight through it. Place your double crochet, then you're going to chain two, prepare for a second double crochet, go right back into that triangle space beneath. And then you're going to chain two, count to the third chain from where the last chain leaves off on the other side. One, two, three. Pull your yarn through with a slip stitch. So you should have that so far. Okay, so now we're on our third row in the middle of the two cups. So your string is attached and now you're going to chain three. Three. You're going to count to the third chain away from your current chain. One, two, three. Attach it with a slip stitch. Then flip over your work, and then you're going to chain two. One, two. Now you're going to prepare for a double crochet and go into the center of the, the triangle that you created beneath it. So here's one double crochet. Then you're going to go back in with a second double crochet in the same space. Okay, then
then you're going to chain two. Prepare for another double crochet. Place two more double crochets in the same space. Oops. So once you have the two double crochets, then you're going to chain two and then count to the third chain again away from the very last chain in the row. One, two, three. Then you're going to attach with a slip stitch. So then you're going to do the same exact thing for the very next row. So chain out three. Count to the third. Okay, so you attach with a slip stitch. Flip over your work. You're going to chain two. Prepare for a double crochet. Go in the center of the triangle beneath it. Place two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two. Go right back in the same space. Place an additional two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two. Now you're going to count to the third space away from the chain on the opposite cup and attach it with a slip stitch. And voila, your next row is done. So for your next row, you're going to repeat the same exact thing again. I'm just going to go ahead and leave in this whole section. I'm not going to skip anything um, just because the design part can get kind of confusing. So I'll just leave in all of this. So you just um, attach it with the slip stitch on the third, just like you did in the last two rows. So then I'm going to chain two, flip over, prepare for a double crochet, go into the little triangle. Then you're going to chain two, place two more double crochets, then you're going to chain two, attach it to the third chain with a slip stitch. And then that's what you should have so far. So now we should have one, two, three, four, five little triangles. It's out of focus. So then on our next row, we are going to change it just a little bit. I am going to chain three, attach it to the third. with a slip stitch, flip over my work, I'm going to chain two, prepare for a double crochet, and now I'm going to go into the lower triangle beneath it, I'm going to place two double crochets, Chain two, go back in with two double crochets, chain two, then I'm going to go back in again with two double crochets all through the same triangle space beneath it. So you should have two spaces. Then chain two, count to the third chain, and attach 
with a slip stitch. So once you have your last row with two spaces, then you're going to chain three, place it on the third space with a slip stitch, flip over your work, chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go into the first space beneath. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, then you're going to chain two, so chain two, into the second space, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay, then you're going to chain two, count to the third, attach with a slip stitch. For your next row, again, chain three to get started. Attach it to the third chain. Don't you hate it when your hook gets caught? So annoying. Oh well, I'm just gonna Oh my god, <laughs> my hook, oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over. Chain two, prepare for a double crochet. So in your first space, place two double crochets just like usual. Chain two. Then once you have that, you're gonna chain one. Prepare for a double crochet. And now in this like middle space right there. You're going to place a double crochet. Chain one. Place another double crochet. Chain one. And then you're going to go into the last triangle space of the row. Bijou. Sorry, my cat is eating my yarn. Okay, so then prepare for a double crochet. Place two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. Bijou. Okay, so once you have that, chain two, count to the third chain, and attach it with a slip stitch. For the next row, again, you are going to chain three, count 
count to the third. Slip stitch, chain two, flip over your work, prepare for a double crochet, go into the first triangle space, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, then you're going to chain two. And now you are going to be placing your next double crochet in the center of the little baby triangle that you made in the middle. So that's two double crochets. Chain two. Oh my god. Okay, so chain two and then two more double crochets. What is wrong? Okay, then you're going to chain two. This row is so bad. <laughs> Prepare for a double crochet and then go into the last triangle of the row with two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, then you're going to chain two. I'm just going to connect it to the second chain right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna begin on my next row. And as you can see, there's not enough space. Um, there's not three, um, chains left in my top that's okay I'm going to chain two and then just attach it into the very top of the cup loop I'm gonna flip over my work chain two and then in this first triangle I'm going to do the usual two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, I'm gonna chain, it's not one, two. And then in the center triangle, I am going to place a total of seven double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you are going to chain two and then place the usual two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, and then you're going to chain two and just attach it into the top of the cup. So now I'm gonna stop here with this center pattern and then we're going to start making a small edging pattern along um, both sides of the cup so that it evens out up here and then we can continue the pattern upward. So this is what you should have so far and now I'm going to get started on the sides.